नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक एट द आउटसेट इंडिया टुडे फॉर हैविंग अरेंज दिस यूथ समिट in the most important state of india and especially in the city of lakes as raj changappa pointed out gopal is one of the most beautiful cities which i like and vit has come to madhya pradesh located in between indore and gopal cleanest city number 1 and cleanest city number 2 in india you are going to have leaders politicians actors education is all today because we are a growing nation and we want to grow into an advanced country what is it that's going to make india an advanced country i strongly believe that it is education because we have found all those countries which has economically advanced are all advanced in education we have problem in education because both our school education as well as higher education we are not comparable to the advanced countries in 2009 there was a survey it's called pisa program for international student assessment and 73 countries participated india was one among them india was represented by himachal pradesh and tamil nadu when they ranked the countries out of 73 india's ranking was 72 that was in 2009 and 2010 there was a survey by unesco out of 128 countries in quality of education our ranking was 105 i am telling you not to threaten you but we must know our strength as well as our weakness what is our strength what is the strength of india the youth is the strength of india because by 2020 67% of our population will be in the workforce there will be no parallel no equal anywhere in the world we will be india the world's number 1 but unless we give them quality education and an opportunity work this demographic dividend will not be utilized it will become demographic disaster that is why i want much importance to be given education where we are not giving for the last 70 years dr radhakrishnan committee recommended that at least 6% of the gdp should be spent on education even last years or this years budget presented by our minister arun jetli it goes up to 3.78% we have never crossed four there are 80 countries in the world where they spend more than 5% 6% or even 7% all the brics countries now recently our prime minister attended the brics you would have noticed it they all spend much more than india that is why their per capita income is much higher all the three countries four countries their income is above $8000 per capita income india is yet to reach $2000 ours is around 1800 so i would very much like you to concentrate on education not only the students and teachers the governments also the central government and the state government they should concentrate and spend more money one is the lack of opportunities the other one is low quality of education these are the two things which cripples the growth economic growth of our country i don't want this to happen you know what is happening in uh, medicine for example engineering we have 17 lakh seats every year in the country but how about medicine medicine we have only 55000 seats the aspirants who appeared for need this year is 16 lakhs and out of which 6 lakhs have qualified but how many seats are available we are going to distribute this 55000 seats to 6 lakhs of students that's why all the problem in the country that is only man made scarcity we could increase the seats it has not been done by the central government state government and the private sector put together it is our duty to give our education whoever wants to study medicine they should be given an opportunity even if they clear the neat examination many of them are unable to join because they can't pay the fees the fees varies from 15 lakhs to 20 lakhs per year even the upper middle class cannot afford to do 
and there is no scheme in India, whether it is by state government or central government, where they can help the students either by loan or by scholarship. We should have a scheme. TSR Subramaniam Committee, which was appointed, they recommended at least 10 lakh scholarships should be given every year. It is pending with the government now. I am happy that the government has appointed another committee now, Kasturangan Committee, to go into the education policies. I hope they will take everything into consideration. We have introduced economic reforms in 1991 when Manmohan Singh Ji was the uh, finance minister and Narsimara was the prime minister. The first economic reforms were introduced in 1991. Every year we introduced some reform. Last year it was demonetization. This year it is GST. But where is reform in education? For the last 25 years we don't see any reform in education. That's why I say, Lakshmi has been given federal liberation. She has been liberated. But Saraswati is still in shackles. I want Saraswati also to be liberated. We should introduce reforms in education so that our children will come up on par with the rest of the world. Our Raj Changapa was talking about USA, Microsoft, etc. Unless we get quality education to all our children, it may not be possible. And we may not be able to use the youth of this country for the future development. That is why much importance to given education, our problems of lack of quality, indiscipline and laziness. We have to get rid of these things so that we will be on par with the advanced nations. America's per capita income is $57,000. Ours is less than $2,000. We have to catch up with them. We cannot work like them. If they work five days, we want to work four and a half days. It's not possible. In Korea, the school's work, number of working days is 260. In India, it is only around 200. Why is it so? Because we believe that we are already an advanced country. It is only a fraction of the society which is advanced. I would like to tell you, because of this inequality is increasing, especially in the last 25 years, 1% of the top Indians, they own 58% of the assets of the country. It has to change. This could be changed only by giving quality education to all our youngsters. I hope it's going to happen. And you have a wonderful government here, especially the chief minister who is proactive. I hope he will take this into consideration. VIT, which has come to Bhopal, which has come to Madhya Pradesh, we will do everything possible for the development of education and also for the economic development of Madhya Pradesh. I thank again India today for giving this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you.